This was celebrated by many and criticized by many others. Denver 7's Megan Lopez brings us the perspectives of politicians and average people about what this will mean for them and the country. My campaign for president, I made a commitment. It was. And I'm honoring that commitment today. An unprecedented announcement, the kind that gave millions of Americans hope for a future without student loan debt. I was really thrilled to hear the news. And outraged millions of others. So it does nothing to solve the long-term problem of increasing higher education costs. An announcement that gets people and politicians talking for State Senator Rachel Zensinger. I'm actually going to get to put this towards my own student loans and I might actually pay off my loans before I turn 50. <laughs> this announcement is personal. I'm a teacher, so I'm in one of those professions that just wasn't able to pay back my student loan as quickly. She just dropped her daughter off at college, so this is a big deal. But as a politician, she knows it isn't the end. Uh, but then it also brings up some other questions about what are we going to do to tackle the high cost of, of higher education going forward. Others, like State Representative Colin Larson. Oh, I had student debt myself. Um, you know, it was astronomical back then. Already paid off their student loans and won't benefit from this. It's only people who happen to be currently paying student loans. He says it's short-sighted and doesn't address the core issue. Next year, we're going to have a whole slew of kids graduating from institutions of higher learning across this country who are going to graduate with fresh debt that's not going to be canceled. And some, like State Senator Paul Lundeen, worry about what this will mean for the economy and future generations. And this, I think, tragically, um, as kind-hearted as, as it seems, is going to feed into that inflationary spiral. He's also worried about how this will affect the value of the American dollar since the federal government won't be seeing hundreds of billions of dollars from borrowers. It makes all of our dollars, the dollars in your paycheck, Megan, are going to be worth less next month than they were this month. And they will be worth even less two months from now. But Congressman Ed Perlmutter doesn't buy that. He says, if anything, this will strengthen the economy. Well, I was a bankruptcy lawyer for a long time before I got elected to Congress. And there is some loss to the nation, but I think it's made up for and then some by the investment that people will make. In fact, he'd like to see Congress take even more actions to ensure future generations aren't saddled with this type of debt. I'd like to eliminate the interest, make sure everybody pays back the principal. But some voters want it to go even further than that. And during his election year, he was talking about that he was going to forgive it altogether. Tony Montoya says President Biden made even bigger promises on the campaign trail. And I think that if President Biden is a man of his word, then he should. Um, come get rid of it. Had this been the case before, he might have gone to college. Online, though, opinions were split. Some applauded the move, others called it unfair, saying they made different life choices with college costs in mind, and yet they're getting nothing. Nevertheless, student debt relief is coming to some. That's what today's announcement is about. Megan Lopez, Denver 7. It's about giving people a fair shot. All right, so.